Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Hello traders, welcome back to the channel and I hope you really had a good weekend. So this is what I was waiting for. In fact, if you have been seeing our videos, I have been telling that I have huge amount of call position and when I tell the reality, people think I am talking negative. That is not the case. If you are making money uh, when you uh, being positive, many people would be billionaires and whether you are positive or negative market doesn't give a damn that is what the reality is no matter whether you are positive about the market no matter whether you are negative about the market is market doesn't really care what what people care or what the participant is caring about is how retailers are going to take the money from uh, FIAs or FIAs will be thinking how to take money from the retailers. This is what is happening or uh, so on and so forth. So don't think I'm talking negative or I'm talking positive. Anyway, being negative only I have made so much money, right? I've been in the market close to a decade. I've made so much money. You think uh, I'm always negative. I, in fact, I have posted around 580 seven videos in this youtube channel and most of the time i have been negative and i have been making money only right so anyway that's a different scenario now we will see what is going to happen forward going forward in fact in yesterday's video also i told that the infosys might uh, uh, pull uh, nifty down and hdfc also will pull nifty down in fact today's if you see today's bank nifty pack uh, Apart from HDFC Bank, all the stocks were the green, only stock which was in the red or in fact uh, Bank Nifty, uh, HDFC was down by more than 1% because people knew that, people knew that HDFC Bank is going to come out with good result and that is why they have pumped it from around 1000, how much, 500 levels to around 1600 or 700 levels, anyway we will see the chart. So this is how the retailers are the you and me are the last people to know what is going to happen in the market institutions HNIs already know the news and whatever price is being factored into now what is going to happen going forward is the main question here and that is what you will expect or that is what you will want to know right now before going into that I, we have a very vibrant telegram group for which the link is on the description below you can join the telegram group we we have we discuss a lot of things about markets and we discuss many strategies about market and we give insights about the market also so if you want you can join link is on the description below now talking about the charts now this is the chart which i have been showing you for last more than 10 days and i was damn sure that the market is not going to go above 17800 that is why i told i have written huge amount of call options and today's five minute scandal if you see the first five minute scandal alone oh my god so much of a first five minute look at the first five minute scandal it's around 150 points down. How open was around 17,863. From 17,863, it came all the way to 17,600. 200 points down in just one candle. And after which we saw another dip till 17,574. In fact, I thought 17,574 will be taken out, but uh, it was very fortunate. People started uh, actually FIAs or maybe institutions or HNIs would have booked profit. That's why we saw NFT uh, retracing to around 17,700 levels and we are exactly sitting above 17,700. Now it has proven that the market has proven that 17,800 is going to be a good resistance. If we have positive news, if we really have a good positive news, then we might go above 17,800. Otherwise, I don't see any point or I don't see anything that the market may go beyond 17,800. 800 without any positive news there is really no positive news at all in fact uh, if I, uh, sorry federal reserve is planning a 50 basis point hike and uh, if that news comes out we might drift on the downside and when it comes to bank nifty bank nifty was the only uh, indice which was not only indice it was uh, bank nifty was an indice which was performing very well and in fact if you see the whole bank nifty back it was as i told you it was only hdfc bank in spite of giving a 20 percent profit on tax year on year hdfc bank was the only bank which was down by more than 1.5 percent apart from that 
all other banks were in the green there were no uh, no banks in Nif- bank nifty pack which was in the red except hdfc bank now what is going to happen in terms of hdfc and bank nifty we will uh, sorry uh, nifty and bank nifty let me go to the nifty chart and tell you one simple concept now if you have to you have to remember or i have told this earlier also that from 9th and 9th of march and 10th of march there was a gap if you see this chart on 9th of march nifty opened at 17722 and closed at 17589 on next day which is around 10th of march it exactly opened at 17453 which means 110 points gap down and if you see that today's chart close was around low was not close low was around 17574 so what it is doing it is trying to uh, resist or it is trying to close above the gap which was formed on 9th and between 9th of march and 10th of march so if this gap is being sustained we might see a higher levels nifty might again retest 17800 uh, tomorrow we don't know as i talk to you us futures are all in the it's not in the red it's flat almost flat and in case there is no positive news or in case us market is showing uh, ending up closing in the red which it did last week when we were closed on friday night then we might see uh, bank nifty and nifty gapping down and we 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 might go towards the level of around 17500 or 17400 that's uh, nifty and bank nifty uh, bank nifty also tried to if you see the low today low today was around uh, 41 uh, sorry low was around 41800 now it closed at 42 even though it closed at 42143 this 41800 was a previous resistance two or three times if you see that that bank nifty has re- tested this level previously it was a very very good resistance in fact if i can show you if you see here on 10th of november it acted as a good resistance then market bank nifty went up and on 20th of december it was a good support then it retraced then again if you see 25th of january it uh, it uh, breached uh, this uh, 41800 levels and we saw low lows of around 39500 again on 16th of february it tried to break 41800 then we re- retraced to around 39800 levels again on um, 8th of march it was somewhere around this level almost 71800 sorry 41800 then we tested 39000 and again today it is testing whether whether fi is or uh, i don't know if fi is are buying or selling but today they have sold uh, not heavily but uh, they have sold uh, more than what a dis have bought so we will see tomorrow if this 41800 is going to be the resistance or it is going to be the support now in order for bank nifty to take uh, uh, respect the uh, respect this as a support it has to move above open of 42600 that we will see so it has to uh, move more than 500 points tomorrow then it has to resist above 42600 then we might see bank nifty going on the higher side but what is the uh, good news in bank uh, banking sector nothing only repo rates are in, repo rates are increasing so net margin income might be increasing that's it apart from that there is no good news at all and participant wise uh, data if you see fi is our still having 81201 active short contracts in index future which means they are having huge number of short contracts and this is the lagging data uh, end of the day today's end of the data would have not yet come yet so i am sure they would have shorted the market they have they would have increased the short position and fi data is at around uh, FIs have sold around 533 crores and DIAs have uh, bought around 269 crores. So we'll see how things pan out. As of now, what I feel is that we might uh, consolidate with a negative bias, which I told in yesterday's video. Also, yesterday's video I told three things that 
market is likely to go on the come on the downside drift on the downside there is no reason market will not keep on moving in one direction and people told that i am blabbering and i am always negative bullshit with your negative and crap crap the time blabbering who told you i have been in this market for more than 10 years and you think i am blabbering no right and uh, second thing hdfc will not support people people was uh, people were thinking were in the assumption that hdfc because hdfc came out with good result hdfc hdfc will also move the bank nifty back but what happened is exactly opposite of what retailers thought right so we'll see how things pan out tomorrow we'll see how us market pan out tomorrow i have a negative bias i feel that uh, nifty might uh, test 17500 levels uh, we'll see it purely depends on how us market closes today uh, i hope i have summarized everything i'll see you in yet another video till then take care bye